You are listening to the Daily Gospel Reflections with Sister Cloth. This podcast is brought to you by the Pauline's Multimedia. It is our mission to bring the Word of God to all peoples through sounds and images, voices, and music. Come and join us as we share with you a thought a day. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 16, verses 13 to 19. When Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist. Others, Elijah, still others, Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for of flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Today we celebrate the feasts of Saints Peter and Paul. How many of us here have been practicing Catholics or Christianity ever since? If somebody asks us who Jesus is, we could readily answer with what we know about Him from Catechism when we were kids. And of course, from our knowledge of Jesus based on the New Testament. And as regular mass goers, we also learn much from priests' sermons. But what if it were Jesus himself who threw the question, would he be satisfied with our answers? Let us think of the disciples. They had lived and traveled with Jesus for a good number of years. They had seen all of his miracles, listened to his preaching, and Jesus even empowered them to do the mission on his behalf. And yet, after all this, Jesus still questioned them about their knowledge of his identity. I go for the idea of one writer who says that how we answer the question of who do you say that I am we likely change our lives. If we say, for example, that Jesus is a divinely inspired teacher, then we will pay close attention to what he says so that we may believe and live it. But what are the essential teachings of Jesus, for example, that will change or at least improve our life? One is to love God and our neighbor. Suppose we take out hostility, antipathy, prejudice, and all forms of hatred in our hearts and put on tenderness, appreciation, and respect. We'll feel closer to God and experience peace and joy. Another practical teaching of Jesus is to live the golden rule to treat others how we want others to do the same. Jesus also teaches us another convenient way to find peace with oneself and others. And what is this? It is to forgive those who have wronged us. The same writer says that when we freely offer forgiveness to others, we can invite more peace and forgiveness 
into our lives. So that's it. Jesus for us is a divinely inspired teacher. But on the other hand, if we say that Jesus is for us the Messiah or the God-sent Savior of humanity, then we will serve Him as God's royal representatives who make all efforts to make Him known to others through our godly living. Lord, You are a divinely inspired teacher and the God-sent Savior of all of us. So then, please help us to live each day in the light of who you are. May our actions reflect our confession. Amen. Be with us again tomorrow as we share with you a thought a day. Meanwhile, you can follow us and listen to other Apple and Google podcasts on Spotify, produced by Pauline's Multimedia. Have a good day.